Hi, this is G. Smathy of Avaya Client Services team. This video is about how to upgrade the Avaya G450 Media Gateway firmware. Here we are going to use Avaya MVIP Tel file server application which is installed on a Windows PC to stage the firmware. You can download this application from support.avaya.com. First we are going to stage the firmware on the PC on which MVIP Tel is installed and running. We are going to copy the G450 firmware which we downloaded from the support.avaya.com to the default TFTP folder of MVIP Tel. I have the MVIP Tel running on my PC. In order to check the default TFTP folder, you need to click on setup, then click on edit INI file manually. Now we will scroll down to the TFTP parameters. Here you can see the TFTP directory name. In my case it is c colon slash program files slash avaya slash meip tel slash data slash tftp data. Now I will open the same folder and put the gateway firmware there. As you can see here I have the firmware release 34.5.0 already copied on this folder. With this we are done with the staging of the firmware on the file server. Now we will see how to perform the upgrade. I am logging into the G450 using the root login. First I will check the current firmware release of the gateway using the command show system. You can see that currently it's running on firmware 31.26.0. Now we will check what is the current active boot bank of the media gateway using the command show image version. Here you can see that the bank A has the firmware release 31.20.1 and bank B is currently active with the release 31.26.0. We are going to upgrade the bank A to the firmware release 34.5.0. We will run the command copy tftp software image A then the file name of the firmware followed by the IP address of the TFTP file server. In this case, this is the IP address of my PC where the MVIP tell is running. Now I will type Y to continue. You can check the file download status using the command show download software status 10. Here you can see running state as writing which means the file is being copied and you will see that the bytes downloaded is increasing with each time you run the status command. Currently the running state has become idle. That means the file transfer is completed. To make the new version active, we need to enter the command set boot bank bank a Now we will save the current running configuration of the media gateway using the command copy run start. Finally, we need to reset the media gateway to force it to load the new image from the bank A which I am doing now. I am logged back into the media gateway after the reboot. As you can see, the show image version command shows that the current active bank as A which has the firmware 34.5.0. You can check the same by running the command show system. With this, we are done with the gateway firmware upgrade. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback at mentor at .com or on tutor at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.